Hello, my name is Wendy. My husband Emil and I recently moved into our converted long wheelbase sprinter van and we are now traveling around the UK. We are now on our way to Scotland. We started our journey in Coventry and stopped in the north of England for one night on the way. We had to drive to a small town by the sea during the day for better internet while working before continuing our drive towards Scotland. We arrived late at the car park where we were sleeping. This was at Pentland Hills Regional Park, about 20 minutes from Edinburgh. I went to a walk up to a reservoir, which was about 20 minutes walk each way. So we have now moved to another car park, which is a Morrison's car park in Edinburgh. So the reason we chose this car park was uh, because I did some research on all the car parks in Edinburgh. So I zoomed in on Google Maps and searched uh, parking just to see what was available. So a lot of the spaces was either a parking building, which is a bit of a problem with our height. Other car parks which were outside showed a picture that they had a height barrier. We wouldn't be able to use those either. I did find one car park, it didn't look very big and it did look like uh, unless some of those uh, parking spots right across from each other was available it would be hard to park this very long van and it's a Saturday so it could be very busy and we didn't know if that was going to be available. So I went on the park for night app to see what was posted on there and uh, I found this Morrison's uh, car park. It is about 40 minutes walk in there and back so we are thinking of taking an Uber especially since they're promising uh, rain today. So this car park is for more than just customers. So there's a sign here that says if you're not a Morrison's customer uh, and you want to park here, then there is a, an app you can download and the, and you can pay through there. That app was really simple. I think we took for the next many, many hours. I think it's like 11 hours we, we can park here and it was only like £2.75. So yeah, if you have a car, definitely try and park in uh, Edinburgh itself. Uh, with the Uber, it is gonna uh, be more expensive than a car park. But if you have a large, tall van like ours, uh, this might be the better option. So at the walk this morning uh, by the reservoir, uh, it was actually it was really beautiful uh, there, and uh, and I saw this little uh, animal. So when I saw it in the distance at first, I thought it was a rat. But then once it came a little bit closer, I could see that it was a little bit too bouncy to be a rat. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was because it was very small and very quick so I took my phone and I, I filmed it and I zoomed in. So now that I've played it back in slow motion it does look like it potentially could be a weasel. But yeah it's raining right now hopefully it'll stop uh, soon but then um, once it does we're gonna head in towards Edinburgh.
So we're back in the van now and back in the place where we're going to be staying for tonight. And uh, yeah, Edinburgh was uh, definitely a very busy place. So unfortunately we came at a very bad time. So there was something called Fringe Festival or something like that. So there was a lot of, uh, of stuff going on in the streets and there was a lot of people and apparently there's a lot of shows going on as well. So our Uber driver on the way uh, back, he was telling us about how busy, because it started uh, yesterday, that he was saying that it was very busy already then and that it would continue until like 5 a.m. in the morning because that's how uh, how late the, the drinking places are open. So we walked down the uh, Royal Mile and uh, yeah, with everywhere we went, like every turn we took, there was someone trying to hand us a, uh, a leaflet probably about some sort of show or something. We didn't take any of them because we weren't really interested in doing any of it. We went inside the cathedral and uh, and saw, as I said, the Royal Mile and Victoria Street. Then we saw uh, the castle. We only saw this from the outside. All tickets were sold out. Then we quickly got some food and uh, and we also, we had planned already to, uh, to send some parcels, some stuff we needed from Amazon. We had that sent to a box in a Premier Inn in Edinburgh. So we went to pick that up. But yeah, the weather actually managed to hold up while we were in there, so which is quite good. It's really bad now, but that's okay because we're back in the van. But yeah, tonight we're just going to relax because we're quite tired now. And uh, then we'll go out and see uh, some more nature places tomorrow. So today we are going uh, to something called Devil's Pulpit and uh, luckily for us uh, it's really good weather today because we have to walk uh, down there. Um, it was a little bit difficult to park up here with the, with the van uh, our size but we were lucky to find a spot. So we're in a devil's pulpit now. I have the waterfall there just behind me, so it might be a little bit loud down here. What we were not aware of was that um, you can't really come out here necessarily without taking your shoes off and going in the water. So a lady that we met on top of the stairs was telling us she has been down here before. She said it really depends on how much water is down here. You might be lucky you can go around. Uh, today we were not lucky, so we had to go in. And it's really, really cold and you have to be careful because it's, it's slippery as well. But despite the fact that the water is really cold and, um, and it was a bit difficult to get out here, it was really worth it. It's really pretty down here. But yeah, now we are um, about to head back up and uh, I feel like the stairs might be a little bit more of a challenge uh, in the other direction. So we are now at our next place, which is uh, Loch Lomond. 
Uh, so we're not going to spend long here, but uh, we wanted to see it uh, on the way up and it's a really beautiful lake. So we're parked in a little village right now and uh, yeah it's very small but it's like one little police station on the opposite side of where we're parked uh, then there is a, a small school uh, a small London shop and then uh, one pub and that I think that's a petrol station and a few like Airbnbs and and maybe some hotel but that's about all that is here I could see a, a mountain not so far as well so I thought maybe there would be some walk up here so yesterday evening I walked down and I saw there was a path up here so this morning I am just going for a walk around here I probably won't make it to the mountain but it's right there behind me So we are packed up for the night in our next place. This place is uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere uh, with uh, mountains all around us. At this place there is also shower and um, fresh water and somewhere we can dump our dirty water. But yeah, we are about to make dinner now. So um, earlier Emil noticed uh, these men uh, at our previous place who came. They had been out um, picking uh, these mushrooms. 
So it's these yellow mushrooms, you don't really know the name of them, but uh, Emil remembered how his grandma used to uh, make this when he was a kid and he really wanted some. So he went over and asked these uh, guys if he could buy some and these uh, nice Scottish people, they were uh, saying that he didn't have to pay for them and they, they gave us a, a small bag. They even gave us a suggestion of how to cook them. So they suggested pasta with a cream and white wine sauce, so that's what we're making. I'm walking with all these thoughts are running Yeah and catch me if you can and I'm wondering if I should chase behind or stop wondering and try to take a stand Oh and they keep asking where the hell I'm going Who I'll be for the rest of my I'm just trying to take my time I'm dreaming And my coffee is steaming Getting colder with time And I'm wondering If maybe all this dreaming Is better left to the night Oh, but lately I've been having trouble sleeping just toss and turn all night And I don't know where time is gonna take me So no, I'm just trying to take my time So I thought what better place to end this video than by this beautiful lake. So yeah, that's everything for this week's uh, video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope I'll see you in my next video where we continue van life in Scotland. <laughs>